Hello, hello, welcome to Yarn Lane. Uh, those of you that are switching over and joining us from Sewing Street, welcome back. Uh, if you are ready for your daily dose of all things knitting and crochet, we're actually extending the Yarn Lane shows to being four days a week, which is really exciting. So it's not only today, you've got another show tomorrow as well. Um, and today is a really special day because we're also giving away, yeah, go grab it, Rebecca. We're also giving away a free pin badge um, to everybody who's purchasing on Yarn Lane today. You will also get our very own official Yarn Lane pin badge, which is really, really exciting as well for every customer, one uh, per customer. Now, today we've got Rebecca Reed, who's going to be joining me. Uh, Helen from Woolly Chic. I know she is, I've got, I've definitely not got, um, uh, Oh yeah, sorry. Um, so, but what I was going to say was, I know Helen is watching from home from Woolly Chic. Um, she wasn't able to come in today, so lovely Rebecca Reed has come in to join me because obviously, this is this is her baby, Yon Lane. Um, I'm excited to talk to her about as well what this year has in store for Yarn Lane and what's going to be coming up because we've got so many plans for Yarn Lane over, over the next, uh, well, for, for this year indeed. Those of you that have shopped with Sewing Street today, it's the same postage and packaging that's carried over to Yarn Lane website as well. It's a different phone number and it's a different website but it's the same postage and packaging and it's also the same account. So you can log in with your account details, same email address and password. Um, everything from this show is already selling on pre-order. So I've been talking about this all morning. This isn't just any yarn. <laughs> this is award-winning, beautiful, heart-spun yarn. Um, and we will talk about why that's important for anybody who is, is, is new. <sighs> Rebecca Reed has just been faffing around in the corner of my eye. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what are you doing? And she's just gone, I found it, the pin badge in the back of her pocket. <laughs> Oh, it was in my pocket. Happy New Year, Rebecca. Yeah, you too, you did too. Did you have a lovely break? I did actually, it was really nice. I managed to get away for a few days, which was very lucky. Oh, good, I'm pleased. So nice. It's lovely to um, have you back anyway. Mm. And thanks for coming in today, because I know Helen is going to be watching on I Facebook know, I know. Today. So I'm hoping I do Helen justice, because you know how much we love Helen. Oh, and she's Willie brilliant. Sheep, but she couldn't make it today, so I said, <gasps> I'll give it a go. Well, in fact, it was Helen who launched Yarn she Lane with did. you. She launched Yarn Lane with me, and you know, she's so into the whole sort of eco side of yarn, which is great. I love she's that. developed this yarn so this is her launch of her wonderful <sighs> glorious sustainable yarn she's even won an award for it I mean that is fantastic isn't it so right for anybody who um, who, who does I mean we all love anything that's got that eco sustainability but also how does that benefit what what sort of um, characteristics does that mean when you are making garments for yourself or well it's just really nice I think when you spend a lot of time and money as well and yeah. effort on making something it's really nice if it comes from a good place yeah okay you know and it lasts longer the way that this yarn this yarn works it's um, blue faced Leicester sheep it's all hand spun in Yorkshire it's something that Helen has developed but it's very strong, which is really important, particularly if you're knitting well, socks or anything that needs a little bit of strength. Normally, a sock yarn is blended with a nylon to give it that strength. But because Helen's whole ethic is it has to be sustainable, environmentally friendly, she's blended it with tensile, which is actually from the eucalyptus tree. Oh, really? But it's also, it also comes from sustainable forests. Right, so is, is most yarns with tensile? Or? No, no, it isn't. It right. isn't. Most okay. sock yarn is blended with nylon. So tensile has yeah. the same strengths but it's, it is more sustainable. It gives it strength, it gives it durability. It also gives it that really nice, um, soft and luxurious feel. Oh, it's so It's a shame so we soft. can't do soft You can see I'm just can't stop feeling it. It's really beautiful. But the you other thing is that it allows the dyes to penetrate oh, into okay. the yarn much better. So you get these really vibrant colours. But the colours that Helen chooses, they're never sort of bright primary shouty colours. They all beautiful. feel natural, don't they? They are absolutely beautiful colours. I mean, we've got so many different colours. We just saw the purples. This one's called Fern Green and it is gorgeous. Now, with um, your large hanks, you're mm. going to be able to make like projects with this, yeah, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you've, you've got, got 100 gram hanks. So yeah. there's a lot you can make from those. Um, okay. It's a four-ply yarn. 
Yeah. So when you're thinking about you using it for patterns, but remember you can use it double. So quite a few of the kits that we're doing today that are Helen's kits, she uses two um, lengths of the four ply together. It means you can get multicolour as well, oh, but then it fantastic. makes it thicker. So don't think you can only use it with four ply patterns. You can use it double and it's like using a double knit there. Oh, nice. Amazing. Um, so these are your hundred gram um, Hanks. You've also got the blues. I mean, this one, the denim blue, is beautiful as well. Loads of you have already got these on pre-order. It's pre -order. got quite a slight sheen to it as well, hasn't it? It has got a very sh slight sheen. It's not, not shiny. shiny. No. no it's <laughs> not yeah. shiny. It still has that very natural look and feel to it. But can you see it? It's got a really beautiful sort of shine to it. Um, and, and like you say, actually, you can tell because of the, the sort of penetration of the, mm. the, the dye, it, it does give it such a luxury but still natural yeah, sort of feel to it. Yeah, it feels quite like, like, a, um, like a soft denim, I think, that one. That's yeah. what it looks like, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, yeah, the colour of denim. Um, £21.99. Mm. So what sort of projects am I going to be able to make using? Well, one, the shawl that you're wearing, yeah. that uses the 100 gram hank for oh, that. Fantastic. And um, there's a lot of shawls that are done with it. But you know, any, yeah. any jumpers or sweaters or cardigans you could do, but you'd need more than one. Just look at your pattern and see yeah. how much it needs but the whole of that shawl is done with 100 grams oh fantastic so it, go, it goes a long way yeah, it does go a long way oh the pink look at it's this it's really pretty isn't it that's a really really pretty pink and so you're saying that that helen at woolly chic actually this is award winning yeah so yarn. she won this um sustainable award yarn award for the britain british knitting and crochet awards oh that's which is a really good achievement that's yeah. a real achievement because she's worked really hard on that and everything she does so and all the packaging that is all sustainable it's all she's worked it all out so you know that's really important to Absolutely, her and yeah. so that's why she's developed this yarn and i think when she thought well i want to put something that's got a bit of strength in it i'm not going to put nylon in so what shall i put in and you know and she's made sure that they the eucalyptus or the tensil comes from sustainable forests so yeah. You know, you're buying into some real eco credentials if you buy the yarn. Yeah, it's important. absolutely. It's really gorgeous. Heart spun, beautiful. I mean, it is beautifully soft. I'm thinking these two together, like you said, you can double them up. And yes, make you can. You can blend well. them together. Or maybe you're knitting um, a sweat or something and you want stripes in it. A lot of the colours. So those two, like the purple, go together beautifully. So if you were knitting um, something that had, you know, that had colour blocking, yeah. The colours all sort of go together, although they're very different. They yeah. blend. I really like the natural one that's just completely undyed. Oh, yeah, we do that next. It's just... That's, that's your real sort of traditional, almost Aran jumper colour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely, it is. Uh, I, I mean, the, the price as well, seventeen ninety nine. it's a really good yeah, price, yeah. isn't it, for the quality? For the quality. So the, the natural one is a little bit cheaper. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. So that's seventeen ninety nine. Right. But again, Great the price. colours mix together beautifully. So say you wanted to blend them or you were doing a colour block or a stripe, that with any of the colours would work really well. Oh, look at that. Just £17.99. We've also got the bright red. And, and like you say, actually, it's fantastic. The way that this has been dyed means that you do get that real punchy, yeah, lovely yeah. colour. Which you don't always get from... Um, not from all yarns, do you? No, absolutely. <laughs> that one's called Scarlet, £21.99. It's 100 grams of your heart spun There's a yarn. sample of the scarf there knitted in that if you want to see what it looks like. Oh, yes. Because yeah, they always look different when they're worked up, don't they? Oh, yeah, what, why is that? I don't know. I don't, don't know. They just. I suppose do. it's because you've got the, you've got gaps. You've got, you've got gaps. Yeah, yeah. But it gives you a good feel of of what it will look like. Absolutely, love that. My personal favourite is this teal. I know, I love that. Oh, there is a sample of that one. That is lovely, oh. isn't it? It's a really rich teal. Gosh, that is gorgeous. Uh, Helen's called this forest green. It um, is a beautiful peacock. Like it is, it is a peacock bluey green, isn't it? Yeah, I, I never, you never really know how well it comes up, how true it is on screen. Yeah, but it is a real deep, a deep teal. It's still got that lovely shine, sheen mm. to it as well. I've had lots of messages come through. Hello on Facebook, morning ladies. How do you go from the hank? into a ball of wool without ending with a bird's nest. We're going to talk about we that. We will talk we? about that, yes, because that's really, really important because the first time I ever worked with a hank, I just knitted from it and I ended up with a bird's nest and wasted <laughs> loads of yarn. So 
do sort it out first. Right, we'll talk through that as well. You don't want to waste <laughs> No, you really yarn don't. Well, so do so wind know. it first. Okay, we'll talk through that. Don't worry, Christine. Uh, it was Claire, wasn't it? Sorry, Claire, who, who asked that. We're, finally, this purple, which is again absolutely beautiful. It's the colour that my scarf is made from, and it's absolutely. Oh, it's so soft. It is really soft, isn't really it? Really soft. And that's it. An important part of the whole thing is that, unfortunately, with television, you can't smell. Yeah. And you can't feel. Oh, it's, it's so just, you can't. You have. Yeah. To, you have to know it. It is. It is very soft. And I think. I mean, the wool itself is soft by by once you mix it with the tensile as well. It oh, gives it that softness. It's lovely. lovely. Quality. Really, really lovely. And I know a lot of people, I mean, in fact, it was um, Chris uh, Kirsty who messaged in saying, I can't use sock yarn with nylon as, it, as I'm allergic to it. Oh, okay. So well, there you go then. Who, who, who this is ideal then. This is ideal then. Makes buying tights fun too, she said. Makes it very yeah. difficult. She says it's good to have alternatives to you. Well, yeah, because it's, there's nothing wrong with doing it. That, but it, you know, you you need to make the choice and the decision about what you want to do. And right. it's, so it's good to have those choices. We all also have all of those colours in 25 gram balls. Yes, so you're just these little balls. Aren't they um, sweet? So I suppose if you do just want to dip your toe in and see how you get on and, and, and yeah. feel the quality of it and have a, a so bit of a So if you wanted to say knit um, a short pair of socks, like the ones you've got there, yeah. you'd need two balls okay. of the, the little ones. So you'd only need the sort of 50 grams, you don't need the whole hang. So, or maybe you want to knit something striped or you want to put a different colour on the toes. You want to add in different things. Some of the kits that Helen has sold before, if you've yeah. bought them already and you've got the pattern, then you want to remake them and you want some of you know different balls in. So the fingerless gloves that we're doing today have got two balls, two twenty-five gram balls in. And they're only five ninety-nine a, a ball. Yeah. So as well. once you've got the pattern, then yeah. these are a great little add-ons. And yeah. remember, you can um, knit with them together. So you can create multicolored effects. Absolutely, it's good to try out the different colors, yeah. isn't it? Uh, the most popular colors at the moment are the fern green, which is this one, the lighter green. So the twenty-five gram um, is again this one, five pounds ninety-nine, and that's for your fern green. Second most color, most popular color is the natural. Okay. Um, the natural looks like this. Again, price is amazing. Uh, and this is from Blue Face Lester. Yes, shape, I love it? that name, don't you? Blue Face Lester, them yeah. Really lovely. <laughs> just £5.99. Again, it is beautifully soft, but it's just great to be able to try Well, the Blue out Face the Lester colours. is known for its very hard wearing yarn. Oh, that's good. Especially and the, making socks and things. Well, it is, but the tensile makes it a little bit softer. Oh, it is, it honestly, I can't wait for you to get this home, for you to be able to feel it, because it is very soft. It's award-winning. Award. It is award-winning. Um, we've had, we've been lucky enough to have um, Helen from Woolly Chic here. In fact, she's watching on Facebook right now, and she's encouraged everyone yes. to send in any so messages So she did say to me, her. I will be watching. Okay. She couldn't make it, but she will be watching. So if you've got any questions, she will yeah. answer them. Brilliant. So, <laughs> Helen, what would you use it for? Let me know. Let me know on the Facebook page. Come say hello. Uh, right. So, that's all of the different colourways. Um, we have run them through. There's a lot of people who are now making up their mind and deciding which colours to go for. Have a look on the website as they're all there now. Um, right. So, do we want to talk by starting about how to go from a, a hank into a, yes. a, a ball of wool? Yes. So, because lots of people are giving suggestions on Facebook as well of how to do well, it. Well, there are so. different things. You can buy something called a Swift, which is what you use to um, wind it, which I'm trying to get hold of because I really want to be able to get be uh, allow you to be able to buy them. I'm, I'm struggling at the moment to get hold of one, but it's um, a device that you put the hank round and then you can wind ah. off it. Or you find somebody who is willing to stand there with their hands like that. So basically, if you take one of the hanks, I'm going to show you how to do it, and take the label off. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to do it now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then you unwind it. <laughs> I promise Helen will wind it back up afterwards. <laughs> She's opening my hug. Okay. Now, the, your first temptation, it, a bit like sewing, isn't it? You know, when you just want to crack on. Yeah. You want to crack on under there. You, you want to just knit from that. Yeah. But if you untwist it, it becomes a big, it's a big loop. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. There we go. Now, if you take, if you unstuck at the end and start knitting with that, it would get in all sorts of mess. So, you can get someone to hold their hands like that. Yeah. And you just wind the ball. Right. from that or you can put it over a chair yeah um some people use deck chairs for some reason but you could use the back of the chair but you need something that's that size that's, that's going to hold that yes. tension and basically. then you just wind the ball now you can buy other things like ball winders that you just 
round and round and round, but just, you've just got to, if you take, I'm not the end, so you've got yeah. one end, but you've got to hold it apart like this. Okay. Because if you start knitting from it, it will just get in such a tangle. Uh. So before you start, now the 25 gram ones are already wound. They are little little balls. Oh, I see. And now they're wound with the ball winder. So yeah. um, at some point when I manage to get hold of them, we will do a swift, which say. is a device that holds it open. And you can wow. get ball winders, so we will do those at some I was going point. to say, I bet you've got so many things in the pipeline, especially now we're extending our days, aren't we? I know, exactly. So the things like that, it's just I'm struggling to get the stock of them. But when you then, you can get a ball winder, but you can just do it yourself. So just get a, like, somebody who will either hold their hands like yeah. that. <laughs> Lots or, of people have said, yeah, I'll get my husband to do that. That's or back of a job. chair or something. Perfect. But do wind it into a ball, then it's beautiful to do. But, you think it's not going to get tangled, and believe me, it does. And I never realised that. I think it was years ago I used a hank, and I thought, what, 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 what's going on? You only do it once. Uh, thank you so much for your message, Helen. Helen's messaging say, morning, Rebecca morning. and Vix. She says, so sad not to be there in the studio. Um, she's also said... The 25 gram balls are great for small projects or colour blocking. Yes, yes. So maybe you want to do stripy socks, knee length Perfect. stripy socks. So oh, yes. um, just keep going. But any little projects, toys. Yeah. Helen has um, created a lot of her toy patterns using these, so small things, decorations. Yeah. But it's just nice to have those colours as well. Yeah, well, it? it's nice. If you imagine a sock with a different mm. heel or toe colour yeah. or something, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? And because you need two balls for a pair of short socks like that, then you can have two different colour socks. Either. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the... Uh, it, which the graphic at the moment is for the purple, <laughs> um, which is for the smaller, the smaller balls, the two twenty-five grams, well, the twenty-five grams of yarn. Um, so, shall we get onto some projects then? Yes. So we Helen has designed three projects for us today. Yes. Three kits that um, in different colourways as well. Ah, uh, the, the shawl. Lots of people are asking about the shawl. We we've seen the shawl with Helen before in different. We've got new colourways. Today, yes, so we? we've seen it in the um, forest green and the scarlet before, back before Christmas. So this shawl has been inspired by a poem. Oh, okay. Poem. Do you know? Do you know the poem? Yes, are you re I, recite the poem um, to well, us. Well, it's here. I could read it. It's it is inspired by um, the sorrow of love by W. B. Yeats. Oh. Oh, I love that. Um, which Helen says, the scarf pattern is named after a line in the poem, The Sorrow of Love, which creates a beautiful haunting image of nature prevailing over the poet's sadness. Oh. Oh, that sounds awful, doesn't it? <laughs> the repeating pattern of leaves has been designed to recreate the beauty and harmony of nature. And when you get the instructions, the poem is printed on them. So you can read the poem to yourself as you're crocheting. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? So when you look at it, you can see it has a leaf pattern within it. Yeah, it does. It's really beautiful. And so you have a, a copy of the um, the poem within your pattern. Within the instructions, Brilliant. which is very important, isn't it? Because that's what it's been inspired by. And I, I know Helen, as you said before, she's really into, you know, yeah, her passion is sustain sustainability <laughs> and being eco-friendly. So you get yours. You get your bag. And she sends out bag. all the orders herself. So once you put the order in through to us... We send that through to Helen and she sends it all out herself because the whole sort of the packaging of it is very important. To oh, her. I love that. This is what's so great about Stone Street and Yarn mm. Lane is that we're, we're really finding some fantastic gems of, of yeah. companies that are, you know, more individual or independent companies. So you have here all of your pattern. Um, you also get your crochet hook. Yes. So this is a crochet pattern, obviously. It is. Um, and you're a getting a, yeah, your 100 gram hank for just £26.99. And, and you can make that scarf either narrow like you've got it, or okay. if you look at the samples there, you can double the pattern repeat and you can make it wider. So you see the red and the green one you've got there, mm -hmm. they're wider. Right. It's just a small sample of it, but if you yeah. repeat it, so you can make a long thin one or a shorter fat one. Oh, I love that. I mean, they are beautiful. This is a brand new colourway today, by the way. We've seen it in a couple of colours before. Um, it is still in that beautiful, award-winning... Award-winning. ...heart-spun yarn as well. <laughs> uh, just 26 99 All of the breakdowns here, but it has no nylon, which is, no, is fantastic. No, it's all ten tensile which is grown as certified sustainable forest and is 100% biodegradable. So not only is it really strong, but it's also really breathable, isn't it? It is, and with wool as well, because wool is biodegradable and the yeah. tensile is, and it's just, 
it's warm and cool, isn't it? That's yeah. the beauty of wool. Yeah, and and I think a lot of people have allergies to different things. That's it, yeah. And with wool and tensile, you don't have that problem. No, hypoallergenic, which is brilliant. Mm. So that's the purple colourway. We're going to plough through this because we've got so much we that we want to lot. show you today. Um, have we done the teal before? Well, that's the forest green. The forest green, yes. yes. We have done both of those. The, forest, the forest green, green is green one that, back mm. by popular demand, it comes with your crochet hook, it comes with your, your hank, it comes with your pattern, and it comes it all presented so beautifully in your woolly chic So if you knitted, bag. if you crocheted, knitted, if you crocheted someone as a gift, you could give it to them in the bag as well, couldn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. Well, you just use it. It's always good it. to have your project in a bag, isn't it, while you're knitting? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, if you're thinking, right, if you just uh, are joining in and you're thinking, right, I want to use this yarn, I'm not sure what to use it for, these scarves are absolutely brilliant. They are beautiful. And once you've got the pattern, yeah, you can keep doing it. That's it. You can get the hands <laughs> on their own then, so you can make them in all different colours. I think it's something that everyone's going to ask you about, aren't they? Everyone's going to want mm. one. It's so well, good the good thing is you can buy yourself a kit, so you've got the pattern, and then you can buy some more hanks. Well, the price is brilliant, actually, for it the is, kits. Yeah. Bearing in mind the hanks on their own are, what, 21 99 Yeah. This is 26 99 and you're getting your hook and you're getting your pattern. And a bag. And the bag. And the bag. So actually, the value for money in the kits mm. is fantastic. It is. I'm quite pleased that Helen's not here. Did you know that you're doing these prices? <laughs> yeah. That's really low, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we've also got the pink, which is this beautiful blush pink. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? I was trying to think of what how to describe it. It is blush pink, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's so soft. Mm. Uh, I don't mean just as in soft to touch. Mm. It is soft to touch, but it's a beautiful soft pink. I know people who aren't pink, pink people that would still love this yeah. colour. Yeah. It's just effortlessly beautiful. It looks nice with grey as well, doesn't it? So yeah. if you've got maybe a black or a grey coat, that's a really soft, lovely soft colour yeah. to go with it. Absolutely. Plus, remember, you're getting your crochet hook and you're getting your pattern. What sort of skill level would you say that this was? Um, I think you need, this isn't a complete beginner. No, you, you need, need to have done some crocheting before. It's yeah. not a super difficult, it's not yeah. like real expert, but you have got increases, you've got trebles and doubles, so you, you know, you need to, there is a, ch on the pattern, there is a chart that you can look at, a diagram if you want to Let's see, but there is also the written pattern. Some people prefer to work from charts, some from a written pattern. Oh, that's good it's to have both the, then, isn't it? The chart it? is just a visual representation of the pattern and some people prefer one or, or sometimes what you do is you start with the pattern mm -hmm. and then when you carry on it's easier to then work from the chart because you can see what you're doing. So oh, It's good that she's included yeah, both. Yeah, both, both are on there. So, yeah. I mean, if you are a complete beginner, then give it a go because you, there's certainly a lots of um, YouTubes and videos. If you watch back um, some of Helen's shows, her first show, which was on the 2nd of November, okay. the day we launched or the 4th, I think it was the second. Um, she did complete beginners crochet. You know, if you start off with that, then you, you know, this is the next. Step. Oh, I know so many people this year, Rebecca, that are saying, right, I'm, I'm, I'm getting into, I'm going to start a new mm. hobby or start a new craft, and this is a really lovely, it is a re mindful it is. hobby to do as well. It is. Isn't it's it? really because you have to really think about it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, you haven't got time to be worrying about anything else because no. you've got to be following this pattern. Absolutely. In fact, Emma, who's our new director, um, her, your mom was watching yesterday, wasn't she? And she, um, in fact, Dawn, you might be watching now. Uh, I know that um, she was saying that she loves doing sewing. She was dusting off the sewing machine yesterday, and now she was. Uh, Emma was telling us this morning that she also loves knitting and crochet. So I mean, this is a really beautiful um, colourway. Again, this is the blue, your denim blue. It's, again, the award-winning, heart-spun, phenomenal quality yarn. This on its own is normally £21.99. You're also getting your crochet hook, your pattern, which you will use time and time and time again. And you also get um, your woolly chic bag. It's a really lovely bag and it's great, as, um, as Rebecca has said, to have as your project bag. Quite mm. often you get a kit and yeah. you're not going to finish this all in a day. No. So it's no. nice to be able to have a, a bag to keep it all in by the side of the sofa. Um, it's a nice little, um, yeah, it's a nice little... A nice little um, carry bag, like you say, if you're gifting it for somebody. Well, it's nice. It's, it's got really Helen's nice. logo on, so it's British. It's got the Union Jack, but it's green. Yeah. It's sustainable British. Love it. <laughs> Love it. I think we've got a... This is why, in fact, Steve Bennett has sort of taken us under his wing uh, because mm. he's got huge uh, passion for sustainability and eco-friendly, and he's got so many plans for us both mm. on Sewing Street and, and here to be able to hopefully incorporate even more sustainability, mm. you know, sustainable products. 
So we love having Helen and Woolly Chic part of our part of our team. Now we've also got the red, which is your scarlet. Um, this is the last colourway. This is one new today. This no, one the I think we had before. Didn't yeah, the we? scarlet and the forest green we had before, but the blue and the pink and the natural and the purple and you oh nice so you have your scarlet hank 100 gram your hank and you also have your crochet hook um back by popular demand i love a red scarf i do and mm. lovely shawl plus you're getting your woolly chic pattern and visual chart as well so it's all there um brilliant value for money in all of these kits in fact it's in incredibly low when you think about how much the hanks are on their own you're going to use your pattern again and again and you're going to use your crochet hook i do like that everything's there for yeah, you it's you're just not easy. having to faff about looking for no, the right just, size hook just wind your yarn to start with into a ball and then you're ready and you're not going to cut it till you get to the end so you just need a pair of scissors yeah. at the end that's amazing it. amazing is there anything from the uh the the shawl or the scarf that you would like to well i i would say that the best thing to do is because helen has demonstrated it before to us okay. is to watch Watch the YouTube of when she did it. Brilliant. I'll ask them in the gallery if they can find out the dates. Can't remember. Can you remember, Kat? Um, I think it was back on the. Did you say the fourth of November? No, that was no. her first show. This wasn't her. Oh, first right. We'll one, have a look. So we'll, we'll have a look, look on the playlist. The we've got. Um, we haven't got Helen's the done a small moment. sample for me, um, so we'll come back to it if we've got time. But I wanted to do the hat really. Yes. So let's, okay. We'll come um, back to it because she has done a video before, and I've got the badge now. Don't forget the badge. Oh yes, don't forget. Let's have a look at the badge. Um, I know that we're. You can, if you would, you mind showing it for me? Yes. Please? Seeing um, as um, I had it in my pocket. Oh, thank you. I'll take it out of the packet. Yeah. So it comes on a card, <laughs> which is important. And it's our official Yarn Lane pin badge. Only if you shop with Yarn Lane today will you receive one of these. How exciting! This is your baby, isn't it? I know, it is my it's baby. Really I know, I'm really excited we've got a badge. I put it on and they said no because we've only got one on the, oh. in the studio, so I just put it back on the thing. That's but, it. So anyone who Get shops, it, it has to be today though. Yeah. Not tomorrow. Oh, brilliant. There you It'll go. Today Stay and you can get me. a free Yarn Lane pin badge. And so. that will just come with your order. Yes, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So that will come with your order. Um, I'm ever so sorry. The Scarlet code, just so you know, because the graphics weren't working for it. Um, I've got the code that you can type in onto the website, and you'll be able to find it there. In fact, can you can we show it on the website? Is that probably easier? It's all on pre-order anyway. Um, if you go to yarnlane.com, if you click on Watch Live, um, scroll down, then you will see it's right at the bottom. I think. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There it is. A Q W seven six two is your item code number. Call the customer service team. I think that's probably going to be the quickest and easiest way of getting it if you jot down the the code. By the gremlins here today, Rebecca. Oh dear, I don't know what's happened to that. Never mind. Um, right. <laughs> so, in fact. Can we do some hat demo and then we'll introduce the kits? I know it's the odd way around, but yeah, because we haven't got any graphics, we'll start doing some demo and then we'll okay. come back to it when the gremlins are gone. So the hat is great because it uses two colours. Let me just move my other bits and pieces out of the way. I'll get really confused. <laughs> <laughs> so the hat uses two colours. I've got one here. There's three. I love this hat. There's this one, which is raspberry and pink together. So you've you're using it seems odd doesn't it but it's actually quite easy but you actually crochet with the two together so in the kit you get the 225 gram balls but when you're crocheting you put the two together that looks really nice on you thank you <laughs> i'm actually just gone i'm all i know i'm ready for the snow now aren't yeah, I? I know, oh i am i do love my hats mm. I do it's love a really hats. nice loose beanie hat as well isn't it yeah, it's not really tight. It is. um you yeah. can do it in medium and large sizes so oh, there's, okay there's, great there's, there's different size sizes well. in it and it tells you <laughs> what the head circumference needs to be, so which is, makes it easier. So you can measure your head first to work it out. But you actually use the two colours. So one of the colours we've got is this um, raspberry and pink. Okay. So they're lovely colours oh, together. Oh, yeah, graphics are in for the raspberry and pink. Pink, we have got it. Brilliant. We're the, back um, running. The colour you've got on yeah. 
is purple and natural. Oh, nice. Just making sure They're all right in the things. kits again, aren't they? So this is um, this is mixing two different yeah. balls. So obviously, you know, colours. once you've got the hat, remember, if you think, oh, I really like that hat, I'd like to do it again, I want to do it with something else, you just need two of the 25 gram balls. So just choose your own colour combinations. Yeah. Good if, idea. you know, buy, if you've bought the kit with that's got the pattern and the hook in it, then if you think, oh, I want to make another one, then you can just buy the other uh, colours of yarn. And actually, because these colours are all very natural, they all go together. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They all come You could have raspberry and fern green. You know, you could have all sorts. And the and green and the teal, or the red. They all, like you say, they, they actually do. all work together. So in your kits, the one that I'm wearing for 19.99, you get your two um, balls of yarn, which are your 25 gram yarn. You also get your bag, and you get your pattern and your crochet hook. Um, which is brilliant, isn't it? And this is four ply again, isn't it? Yes, it is all four ply, yeah. Brilliant, 19 pounds and 99 pence, plus you're getting the bag as well. Um, let's just quickly show you the other colourway while Rebecca's sorting herself, oh, sorry, setting I'm just up. cutting the label off. Um, <laughs> There's a blue and purple colourway, I'm being told, which it looks really nice. So this, oh, this is one. the one I've got here on my hooks. Oh, great. Hook is the blue and the purple. Those two together look nice, They look they? lovely, don't they? They do look nice. Actually, and do you know what makes it easier is when you're crocheting, because you've got the two different colours, it almost makes the individual stitches stand out, makes yeah. it a little bit easier. So this is this starts off as a circle and you just increase the rounds and rounds and rounds and then you go and then you go down like I might make like a flower pot really. So you this starts with a circle on the top. Yeah until it gets bigger and then you just go down so you do the sides of the hat. Oh lovely. So on this sample here. The, um, Helen has already done these for me. The, she started off with a circle, so can you see that in the centre? Yeah, would you just come to like, so your right, please, Rebecca? Oh, yes. <laughs> can you hate it when guests don't behave? <laughs> so, <laughs> could you actually just what, look at the screen? <laughs> I say that to people come all on, the time. You know could you just go right to it? I know, I'm clearly not. <laughs> so this is um, round three. So at the moment, we've got 20 trebles going round. And okay. we're going to increase to 30. So I've got a little stitch marker here. I'll take that off. So that you always, it's best to have a stitch marker in the end of your round. Uh, just so you know where you start. Well, I'll put it, yeah. With you. Well, it just, you, with this one, because it's not, you're not working in spirals. When you do like amigurumi and you're working in spirals, you really do need to mark it. With this, you're working in rounds, so you can tell, but it does make it a bit easier. So that's the last one at the end. Now, when you do them together, just keep the strands together like this. And then just crochet with them as if it were one. You just mm -hmm. put them around your fingers. Now everyone does it slightly different and holds it different. This I, this is just how I do it. Um, so once you finish one round, you then join it with a slip stitch into the last one. And now we've got a complete circle. Right. So that's the beginning of your hat. Now what we're going to do is increase into um, round three. We, at the moment we've got 20, we're going to make 30. So. To get up to the next level, you do two chains. One, two, keeping okay. that quite loose. Um, and then you do a treble into the first stitch. So the reason you do the two trains is be two chains is because we're making it come up to the level. Yes, you're stepping up. We're stepping up, so we're making another level. It's like Lego, you need to build your bricks up before okay. you get to the next thing. Yeah. So we're building up our bricks, so that's two chains. And then we're going to do a treble in the first stitch, so do a treble, and remember this is UK terms. So is there a difference then? Yes, so American all the stitches terms. are the same with US and UK, but they're just called different things. So a treble in UK is called a double crochet oh. in US, which is really irritating. That is really confusing. You don't know which one you're doing. But yeah, just check your pattern just if check. it's this is American UK or UK. terms. So a treble in UK is a double crochet in US. Don't ask me why. <laughs> no idea why, but this is a treble. So to do a treble, you wind the yarn round, you put it into the stitch, you wind the yarn back through one, yarn round through two, yarn round, and then you've got one left. You've always got to have one left. Okay? Um, treble in the first stitch, one treble in the next. So we do have the same thing. Have you got a blister on your finger? Oh, no, I've just, yeah. I've got is that like, a pad? No, I have got a blister and it's oh. just sort of really sore. I thought it was um, no. a pad. Like and a it's all these, all my skin is disappearing. Oh, no. 
but it's ge it's getting there. It's getting there. It's but if I put a plaster on it, and just sorry, I didn't want to point it out. I know, but it is on my crochet finger, isn't it? So, but um, it's getting better. Oh, good. But it's really sore. So, and I thought, I thought, how am I going to crochet and not show that? But I can't. So there we go. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do another treble into the next stitch. So yarn round. Um, make sure when you're doing it. Let me put my hands in the right place. That you that you put your um, crochet hook into the next stitch and it's quite easy to see if often with crochet if you pull it apart a bit you can see where the last stitch was and where the next stitch is so yarn round hook through through both loops of the, the V's it, the stitches from the row below you can see you create a V so put it through both of those yarn round and back through yarn round and through two yarn round and one and that's a treble right so it's not difficult is it no so this is re this. So a beginner could do this because you start with a chain and then you're just doing trebles. There aren't that many stitches in crochet. No, there really, aren't really. Aren't there? There's not really. I mean, and even the different stitches are the same thing. So a double crochet is just yarn round. You put it through and you're only doing the yarn round once. A treble is twice. So really, it's the same sort of stitch. A bit like knitting, isn't it? Yeah, it's only knit yeah. and purl. Amazing. Um, and then we're going to increase. Okay. So, so step up again. So two trebles. Well, we're, we're at the top. The reason you do the two chains is to get to the top. We're at the top already. So now we're going to do two trebles in the same stitch. So you do exactly the same thing. Yarn round through both Vs, yarn round and out. Yarn okay. round through two, yarn round through two. Now in, with, to increase, you do exactly the same thing into the same stitch. So basically you're putting two stitches into one. Yeah. And then that increases. So yarn round through, yarn round and out. Yarn round through two yarn round and through one and that's an increase oh amazing so that's quite simple isn't it yeah. and you just keep doing that so you do your increases so you do one treble and then you um increase and when you get around to the end you've got 30 stitches so you keep doing that you follow the pattern you go all the way around until i think you end up with in total 80 so then it just keeps increasing. Yeah, it's now, the pattern. what's a lovely part of this pattern? So I've I've got the next stage here. And the colourway that Bex is working with next is like the, the raspberry ripple colours. Very popular indeed. That's where you get the two different shades of pink, your blush and your raspberry. You also get your pattern and not forgetting you get your crochet hook plus you get your lovely bag. Um, so these are the two colours, your pattern, your crochet hook and your bag. I've got a very busy desk here, I'm ever so sorry. It's always the way, isn't no, it? No, you've got lane. a very, very busy desk. It's always the same with yarn lane though, isn't it? I know it, it is, it, it is always falling off. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the wool. Um, okay. So the, the nice thing about this, once you've done all of the increases and you've worked your way down, there's a really nice um, feature on this hat where it looks like a slight rib, like a line that goes across it. And the way that that's done is by you just crochet with one of the colours. Right, okay. So can you see on that where well, you've got your hat on so you can't see, but you've got on here you can see there are lines mm -hmm. of the that's, raspberry. So I suppose that makes it easier for somebody who is uh, an adventurous mm. beginner to be able to see. Well, the also pattern. you learn, you learn you loads learn by it. doing That's this. It. Now, the way this, the way that this works is that you crochet into the back loops to do this. Um, now, on this one, Helen's actually got to the point of doing the rib, so which is the the final bit. But the, when you crochet into the back loops, I tell you, what, I'm going to show it to you with this. We'll pretend we've got to this stage because it's probably easier because she's got to the rib on that one, which is the final bit on the hat that makes it stay on. Okay. Is when you look at these loops, you're in the right place. Thank you, Rebecca. The right. There's you a front well. loop and a back loop. And yeah. when we did the normal crochet, we went through both of them. Okay. Do you remember, we went. I said to you, make sure you go through both of those. Yeah. Some people call them loops, or they're a V, but go through both. Now, when you're going to do um, the back loop, which is called, they just say crochet into the back loop. There's nothing sort of technical about it. Um, just use one of the colours, leave the other one behind, just hanging loose. You can choose what that colour is. With this one I'm going to do blue, but I could have done the purple. Now rather than crocheting into the front loop, is it using a, it is a double crochet. Um, you crochet into the back loop and then we're going to do a double crochet. So you put, you don't put the yarn around first for double crochet, you put it through the back loop, wrap it round, through, wrap it round and through two. And then you do the same all the way round. Because we're only going to do one row of this, you don't need to carry 
the other yarn, the purple yarn, the other colour, you can see that's just hanging loose. Oh, OK. You see? Yeah. That's just loose. So we'll just leave that and we're only doing the blue. So I'll do a few of these, double crochet. So through the back loop, yarn round, through, yarn round and through two. And then we'll do another one, yarn round. So now I've done a few. If you look at it, you can see that we've now got a ridge mm -hmm. of just blue. Yeah, yeah. When you then come back and do the next row, you pick up both of them again. And that's what creates ah, in the ripple. hat this mm -hmm. slight, it's just a little bit of detail. That's it doesn't lovely. um it doesn't change the pattern at all it's just that little bit of extra yeah detail. it's the raspberry to a ripple isn't it your but you could do ripple. that you could do that throughout you can do that you know once you've that's the great thing i always find about any new pattern is you always seem to learn a new technique oh nice and it does add lovely detail doesn't it just having that one row of all the same color um, yeah and you could change it so on helen's she's done the um the raspberry as the thing but you could have the different you could have had the um light pink yeah you can choose which one you pick up yeah, so the one that I'm wearing, by the way, is the Purple and Natural, which loads of you have got. There's three colourways. We've seen two of them. This is the other colourway, so the one that I'm wearing, very popular. You do get your two balls of beautiful quality. Going mm. back to what we were saying, this is Heart Spun award-winning yarn, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, is. it is. So Blue Face Leicester Sheep with tensile, so it's soft, it's strong, it's got that slight sheen to it. And you know that you're, you're helping the planet along the way as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you get a free pin badge. And a free pin badge <laughs> yeah, with the on. Uh, you also get your lovely sustainable, eco-conscious and ethical uh, bag, which is brilliant. Mm. So you've got your bag, your, um, your crochet hook, your instructions and your yarn. So they're the three colourways of the hat. I'm just, eager, I'm just noticing the time, Rebecca. We've got Yeah, let's talk no about time. the gloves. And then if we've got time, I'll, I'll show you the, um, the front post treble crochet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a mouthful. What that's a mouthful. That, sorry. Well, that's what creates the rib on the house is, on the hat is the front post treble crochet, which that's sounds right. really complex. It does. Sound it? Very I'm just complex. doing a front post front post treble crochet, but it isn't. It does sound very fancy. Doesn't but let's it? move on to gloves. Now the gloves, you can do different sizes as well, can't you? Yes. So there are. Where's my pattern for Get them? Get to match your hat. Absolutely. Well, the, yes. The whole point of this is the scarf colours, the hat colours, and the gloves colours are the same. Right, okay. So you can buy... Your Raspberry Ripple. You can buy the Raspberry Scarf. That's it. The Raspberry Ripple Hat, the Raspberry Ripple Gloves, because the gloves are done exactly the same in two colours. Oh, fantastic. So they will all match so in you have perfectly. a whole matching set. And again, you know, once you've got the pattern, you can then just buy more yarn. You have your uh, uh, Love in a Mist fingerless mitts, yes, um, which are lovely. Actually, really, really handy to have. I do like a, a, a fingerless. They're glove. really nice, and you and Helen shows you in the pattern. You just measure your palm circumference, yeah, and that tells you whether you're small, medium, or large. Oh, fantastic! Because everyone's got big, ha different size hands, haven't they? It's nice when you you know you get in the con, steel wheels freezing. Oh, I know. Um, it's really lovely just to have those, but they're still easy to be able to to, to use. You know, if you. Because I've got some fingerless ones that have got fingers in and they're so tight, they actually sort of almost cut the circulation oh, off. I always yeah. get cold fingers, so I prefer these where your fingers are touching. Love it. Because they yeah. keep each other warm. Abs absolutely. <laughs> um, we've had a message come in. Who's that? Susan. Hi, Susan. Ordered the gloves. Brilliant. She says, I don't wear hats. Uh, but she says, I think it looks interesting. I want to give it a go. Even though I don't wear hats, I want to give that yeah, a go. Yeah, but somebody wears a hat. Yeah. And actually, <laughs> these hats are quite loose Yeah. as well. So I think the problem sometimes with hats, you just sort of feel a bit hemmed in, don't you? No. But oh, quite... I love a hat, especially this weather. It's mm. so lovely to just keep your head warm. I don't take mine off when I go home. I wear... And also, I if you want it a bit shorter, that's fine. But if you want it to really cover your ears, put yeah. it on when you've got to, before you do the rib. And if you want it a bit longer, just put a few more rows on. Fab. There you go. Right, the colourway I've got here is the um, the one that I'm wearing. Um, so I say the one that I'm wearing. This oh, you need to put the gloves on as well now. Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Okay, Got to complete the outfit, haven't I? <laughs> so you have your instructions and you have your beautiful yarn, and that's to make these. And they've got really lovely detail as well, haven't they? Well, they've got um, a really nice sort of a cable pattern on them. They're lovely, aren't they? But what happens, because the, um, just the way that the yarn is woven, it gives really good stitch definition, yeah. which is really important. So if you're creating a pattern, you yeah. want to be able to see what the pattern looks like. Oh, amazing. £19.99. They're really nice, aren't they? And they match perfectly with my hat. 
and there there's go. a little and on the pattern there's a little chart so that you can see what you're doing how to do the pattern they want me to do it they look i know you look so coordinated Matched perfectly um so then the last one oh in fact actually there are two more well yeah because they might have a hat Oh yeah, here we go. There's a denim blue and the purple. And you've got one glove there, so you have to put you put that one on. <laughs> <laughs> and your instructions. And that's with this one. So the one that you're putting on now is where you've got the two, because you again, you crochet with the two strands. You've got the denim blue and the purple together, but the other one glove you've got hanging on there is just the purple. Yeah. So that's uh, what happens ah. if you use just purple. Right, so you can just do it in one colour. But it looks lovely when you do it in two. And well, you, you could do one denim blue and one purple, couldn't you? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Absolutely. Uh, 1999. So that's the blue and purple. Um, Helen has messaged in saying the fingerless knits is n they're named after her granny's favourite flowers. Oh, that's really nice. And the colours of the yarn are inspired by the flowers as well. It's a lovely story oh, to everything. Oh, that's this, nice, isn't it? Uh, this is what I think is so great about Woolly Chic, is that there's so much love and thought and detail that goes into every I know, I think it, that's why I'm really keen on Yarn Lane. We work with a lot of very small suppliers, yeah. British suppliers, and you do get that story you get the history they put you know this is their company Helen has built this up herself yeah, you can tell so she, the love she puts her own love and story into it and that's absolutely really nice, isn't it? and, and she, she must be so proud that she's won the award for this amazing. yarn yeah that's very it's good because there's a brilliant. lot of people creating sustainable yarn absolutely. and eco things and she's won it yeah it's brilliant Helen um so, by the way I do like to see myself as a bit of a, a trendsetter. Yeah. Oh, in fact, actually, no, Kat says, no, it's not the one that you wear. It's the denim blue and the purple that's the most popular. Shot into the lead. Oh. Uh, these two colours, which is the ones, actually, that that's you were that working one. with before. It was Rebecca that was a trendsetter. Mm. It is lovely. It is a really lovely combination, isn't it? Although I think if I did the gloves, I'd definitely do one each colour. Because, you know, you always lose. Where is that one? You'd know which one you were missing, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> And they would really make it easy to find it then, wouldn't they? Uh, so, there, the uh, the fingerless gloves pattern. Was there anything that you wanted to mention yeah, about so the, there's, the make Yeah, so there's two itself? ways of um, knitting these. You can either knit them on double-pointed needles, you need five of them, or you can do them on a cable needle. And okay. you have to do, where's my cable needle? It, with the magic loop method. And I'm not going to show you that, because okay. I can do it. You did do it last night, I can you? do it, but I can't do it brilliantly enough to demo it. And I, I don't want to, I'd rather... When Helen comes in next, yeah. when she can come in, she's going to show you how to do it. Because okay. it's not tricky, you just need to know how to do yeah. it. And, and Helen's a great demonstrator. She's great, so she? I'm not going to show you that, because okay. I might mess it up. I know how to do it, but I really don't want to show you how to do it. But what I am <laughs> going to different on telly, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's just, you know, how there are some things that I, I, you can always tell when somebody demonstrates something that they're, they're not quite sure. I know yet. how to do it, but I'm not going to show you okay. how to do it. Anyway, so you can choose. You either do it on a cable needle, yeah. and you have to do it in the um, magic loop technique or you can do it on double pointed needles up to you mm -hmm. but what Helen uses for this is a cable cast on okay do you know how to on. do a cable cast on that I do know a cable cast Real. on um, is really good for things like gloves where you need a more um, solid more durable mm -hmm. edge yeah so like a rib on something oh, and nice. you want it to be tight um, so obviously I normally I'd be using two strands of this but I've only got one with me so I'll just use one pretend I'm using two so you just do your normal um, slip knot now the way I do it, everyone does it slightly different, is I cross the yarn over like that and then I put a loop up through the middle like that. Okay. It's a slip knot and that's because it slips. So I'll do that again. Cross the yarn over and then put a loop up through the middle and pull it. So you start with the slip knot. So and if you're working with the two together, you just do the slip knot together. So if I was working with both of these, you just do that. You just do the slip knot with both of them together. Exactly the same. You just pretend it's one. And then you put that on your needle. And I've got a cable needle here. If you haven't used a cable needle for knitting in the round before, I would recommend you do because it's easier and you don't get quite the same gaps. When you're knitted on double pointed needles, you're knitting You've got your um, work on four and you're knitting with one. 
but then you have to keep knitting from one needle to the other. And right. if you're not really careful with your tension, you get little gaps. I've never seen one before. Why have I never seen it? It's cable needles. Have you needles. never seen a cable needle? I love cable needles. You can do straight knitting with them, can which you? is great. So, um, and if you want a cable needle, we've got lots on the website, all different sizes and lengths. So Fantastic. if you want a cable needle, we do have them. Um, so when you're knitting with knitting needles, say you're knitting something really big like a shawl, it gets very heavy because you've got all of the um, stitches and all the length of it like yeah. the blanket or something hanging yeah. off that needle but with a cable needle all the stitches that you're knitting on it's different if you're knitting in the round but if you're just knitting straight they sit on this cable so oh. it sort of sits on your lap so you're just knitting with these oh, so see. if you're knitting in the round you just keep going and going and go round mm -hmm. and round and round but if you're knitting straight once you get to the end you just go back in so it's exactly the same as knitting with straight ones right um but it's just nicer. It's actually nice. It's just in the cable. Well. Like you said, there's lots of different sizes on the web. Yeah, so um, if you want a cable needle, but with if you're doing it with this, you need to use the magic loop method. So just remember that you can't just keep going round because the, the cable's too long. So with the cable cast on, you do the normal, I'm gonna make sure you can see. You put the needle for the first one, you put you have your if you're right-handed, you have your um slip knot on the left needle you put your right needle through you wrap the yarn round because we're knit we're doing knit and you pull it through and then you put it onto your needle so that's the first one and that's what we normally do with the cable cast on method don't put the needle through the stitch put it between them so it's not actually going through the stitches at all mm -hmm. it's between them wrap the yarn round and bring it back through and then when you put the loop on you put it from the front to the back. Okay. So I'm going to do that again. Oh, I fell off. And it makes it just a bit stronger. So put the needle between the stitches, not into them. Mm -hmm. Wrap the yarn round, pull it out. And make sure you've got a nice big loop, it's easier. And rather than putting it on that way, put the front of the loop onto the needle like that. Mm -hmm. You'll need to watch a few when you want to do it, but after you've watched about three or four, put the needle between the stitches, wrap the yarn round, pull it through, and then loop that back on from the front to the back, which is different to the normal way. You yeah, do it. everyone it has is, yeah. like there are lots of different cast on methods. Don't ev don't just do the one that you're used to. Choose the one that's the right one. There's a long loop method as well. There's various different ones, so it's important to do the right one. So I'll do it one more time. Put the Needle th between the stitches, not through them. Yarn round, pull it through, and then to get the loop back on, front to back. And that gives a really nice, um, stable starting mm -hmm. edge. Amazing. I mean, like you say, there's lots of different ways of doing it, so just check your pattern and make sure you do yeah, it the right Yeah, yeah, I mean, right there's, a lot, there's lots of different ways. And then when you do the magic loop method, you, you do all of the cast on on one needle first, then you divide it through the... Mm -hmm. the cable which I'm not going to show you because for the uh, fingerless you. Mitch Helen's just told us we need 3.5 millimeter yes, needles 3.5 says there 3.5 yeah. amazing is that the one that you put the graphics in for Kat uh, I think we had a different size one but Did they're we? on the website aren't yeah they? they are on the website oh dear they're the, the website, website is going mad fact, today no, so just to make it clear with the pin badge situation <laughs> mm. um, can you buy anything off the web and get the pin badge or is yeah. there anything from no, today's show no I think so I think it's anything that you buy in from, the yarn from Yarn Lane, you will it? have anything today from yeah. Yarn Lane, not from Sewing Street. Brilliant. They did say Sewing Street. I went, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> just for Yarn no, Lane. No, it's just for the Yarn Lane. There you go. All our lovely Yarn Lane. Only for today. And you've got Yarn Lane again tomorrow, haven't you? We have got Yarn Lane again tomorrow. We've got Nicola from Twink Knits tomorrow. Oh, brilliant. Another lovely small supplier. Oh, and she's great as well, isn't she's she? She's great. She's such a fantastic teacher. She's brilliant, isn't she? But she's lost her glasses. She left them here. You haven't seen them. Have you? <laughs> I've said <laughs> I to her, I promised them. her I'm going to find them today. I don't know where they oh, are. We'll so she's them. back on tomorrow um, with her lovely hand dye job. Oh, amazing, mm. amazing. Um, yeah, four days a week we're four, going to be doing four. Yarn Lane, yes. which is really exciting. There's loads planned. Well, I know. I mean, we haven't, we've haven't. we got so much that we want to do and sell and show you and teach, and three days aren't enough. Yeah. Oh, honestly, we've got mm. so much lined up. It's going to be brilliant. Just to remind you, um, all of the yarn that we've had today, because if you've got the patterns and you want to then make it in different colours, of course, you're absolutely able to. We've got all of the yarns that you can see on the desk. Lots of different colours. We've got them in 25 grams and we've got the, the uh, 100 gram yank, uh, hanks as well. Um, 
and we've got all of the wonderful kits that we've seen on the website the blue and purple just so you know we are very very limited sorry it doesn't look um, very organized here but there's it so many it looks lovely you look colors. like a wool shop <gasps> oh you? it's amazing you isn't like it and I, I, I must say in a wool shop obviously you go in you have a good feel mm. and it's it's so soft isn't it is it? really you'll love really, working you will this. and it's really nice to and i sat there yesterday evening knitting with it it's lovely to knit with I've started mm. seeing so many more pictures on the online fan page as well of everybody who's having a go. It's lovely. Somebody things. put on yesterday, she said, I haven't crocheted for years, but yarn owner's got me started again. And that's really nice, go. isn't it? That's what we're here that's for. That's what we're here for. It? Get your crochet in. Knitting. Brilliant. Thank you so much as well for coming in that's today okay. and joining okay. me. That was Thank nice. You. nice. I would have struggled today with the uh, the magic circle. Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> and, the cr and the car. Well, I'm struggling with the magic circle. I'm <laughs> almost, I've almost cracked it, but I'm not going to show you how to do it. Helen will be back yeah. and she will show you. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Okay. When are you back on? Monday. Monday Sewing Street. Monday Sewing Street, yes. Fab. And you're we'll on then. <laughs> Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank we'll see you, you soon. Uh, I had a message come in saying, oh, Linda, first time watching. She says, it all looks lovely. All looks lovely. If you do want to uh, to purchase anything from today's show, of course, call the customer service team or, of course, head to yarnlane.com. Um, £3.95, one post in packaging all day long. And anyone who's shopping today on the Yarn Lane website will also receive their free PIM badge. Yarn Lane will be back again tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Now, I must say... Stay where you are if you're watching on, on Freeview. If you flick over on Sky 674, our sister show, Jewelry Maker, watch it. You'll see a very familiar face. It's his <laughs> first show ever on Jewelry Maker. We're going to watch it now. It's lovely John Scott taking over until five o'clock. He'll see you right after this.